What's going on guys? JDH 80s Custom Buggies. It is very cold this morning. 7 o'clock this morning I got in my truck. It was 26 degrees. Um, probably not cold for a lot of people in the country, but if you've been in Florida for 25 years and your blood's all thinned out, it gets to be cold. So this place has kind of ruined me. Um, so cold that last night I had to get dog food, so I bought, bought poor little Lucy a, a coat because she's thin-haired and she don't like the cold either. So, hey Lucy. Like your coat? She likes your coat. So, um, here we are on the dune. And I'm going to give you a rundown real quick. And I did order a new camera, so this crappy picture that, that you're getting now and all that, all this will hopefully changed. I actually splurged and bought a nice camera, did a little reading. And um, hopefully it'll be in soon, at least by the time for the next video. And uh, so I apologize for the video quality. I, I watching this stuff back. I know it's a little shaky and stuff, and it's just because I'm using a regular old like take a picture camera for video right now because I can't find the video cameras that I had before, probably in my race trail. So uh, arms are done, spindles are done, minus the uh, tie rod tabs and the brake mounts. Shocks are in. This is all just mocked up. Um, I just slipped bolts through, you know, to pin it just to get a good mock-up before I left last night. It's all looking pretty good. Um, so there was a hiccup. I knew about it a while back, actually, when I first made the lower arms and decided to roll with it and, and just uh, I'm going to work with it and I'm going to explain to you what I did. So that's the original upper eye arm I made. And I used a, a stock arm to jig it and, you know, made jigs. And because I figured that might come in handy, uh, you know, discontinued buggies like this that I might need to make arms for people or for myself or whatever. Um, so I made that jig. So that's the stock shape of the upper A arm. So for one, I had to redo the upper A arm because I couldn't get the shock to fit. All right, so with, with that other arm in there, um, I had to open it up more down here because this shock was hitting with the angle of the, of the stock arm. So I just changed the bend over here and made new arms. Uh, it made it open so I had the bend start sooner than um, than I did on the um, the stock appearing arm or the stock arm um, so where well, the hiccup is this is okay the arms are made to the jig I was gonna widen this by I figured when he had the bungs and the heim joints it was gonna widen the whole buggy a little bit in the front which is what I wanted but I should have achieved it on this end I tried to achieve it on the inside which screwed up my um, point A to point B, all right? So by lengthening it there, I didn't take into consideration, or I should have, but wasn't thinking when I did it. So what happened was if, if I stick this hind joint in this mount where it's supposed to be, then I'm on the outside over here. By putting it inside here, I'm on the outside over here. So I decided to, let's go on the outside in the front. I'll make some additional tabs for the front and tie that all in. And that'll kind of lengthen the wheelbase of the buggy uh, approximately an inch, which might lend to be a better ride. Um, don't know, because this is going to be a little bit of an experiment. I don't think it's going to suck, though. So the other thing I'm going to have to do because of all this is I already intended on cutting the rack mount off and lowering it so that the rack and the tie rods are between the two arms. And I could dictate, you know, the angle that I want from the tie rods. Uh, try and eliminate as much bump steer as I can. Well, I'm also going to have to lower it and then probably bring the mount out an inch. Be otherwise, my tie rods will be like right in the center of these. So we need to bring them. The whole rack's got to come out so the tie rods come out. Um, so <clears throat> that's where I'm at right now. Um, I'm going to put in a couple hours in the day. I'm probably, I don't know if I'm going to work more on the front end. Or I'm kind of anxious to get a hoop on that thing and kind of kind of get an idea to dictate the shape of this cage where I want to be because, you know, I sit there and I think about it in my head and then I just start bending and piecing it together and trying to make it look good. So um, I'd like to get the hoop on there and so I can cut these A-pillars and, and kind of tie that in to at least give me some sort of direction or idea of what I'm going to do with the cage. Um, so that being said, I want to thank you guys. For, uh, for tuning in as always and uh, you know if you haven't already subscribe um, hopefully we'll have some better quality video coming your way with the new when a new camera gets here 
If you need parts, scottbuggies.com and uh, follow MBX this season. And I want to thank you guys again. Time to get to work. JD's out.